Well, tender, dry hills, water reservoirs shrinking tonight. Mandatory water restrictions could be coming to the South Bay. The Santa Clara Valley Water Board District is expected to declare this week a drought emergency. NBC Barry's Marion Favreau is in San Jose with a look at how much you may be asked to cut back. This is going to be tough, Marianne. It's going to be a rough year. It certainly is, and it's only going to get drier as we head into the summer, Jessica. The water district staff is recommending that people cut 15% of their water use that they used back in 2019. And some neighbors are already getting a jump start on conservation by putting in drought tolerant landscaping. This is going to get filled in up to the border. Peter Sanchez Jr.'s lawn in San Jose is shrinking. After the last drought in 2012, he tore out some of his grass and put in drought tolerant landscaping. Today, a crew is taking out even more lawn and replacing it with rocks. It used to be all lawn, and then we start having the water issue, and so I start downsizing as much as I can. And now I'm downsizing even more. That foresight may pay off because on Wednesday, the Santa Clara Valley Water District Board is expected to declare a water shortage emergency and ask people in Santa Clara County to cut back their water use to 15% of what they used in 2019. Board Vice Chairperson Gary Kremen says the reduction is needed after another very dry winter and the Sierra snowpack was low. Plus, the county's largest reservoir, Anderson, was already nearly empty to accommodate earthquake repairs. And that's not all. We're having trouble buying water on the open market because everyone else is buying it at the same time. So not only buying it, the price is about 10 times what it was two years ago, but actually transferring it, going through the regulatory process. Because the water district is a wholesaler, it's up to each city and water company to decide how to meet the proposed mandatory restrictions. Options used in the past included so-called water cops, fines, and requiring people to only water on certain days. We reached out to San Jose Water, which issued this statement saying, we are currently closely monitoring our local supplies and preparing contingency plans in response to Valley Water's call for mandatory conservation. But the company did not say if water rates would go up because of the restrictions. Peter says he expects his rates to go up, which is why he's already thinking ahead and planning to replace all of his lawn with rocks. The California PUC must also approve any mandatory conservation program before it can go into effect. Reporting live in San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.